let's take a look at some of the great new drawing enhancements in this latest update of Onshape. First, when you create a drawing and choose which part studio or assembly you want to use, you're presented with the standard views. But now you can also make an isometric view as your first view, so you don't need to go through the steps of creating a front view, then projecting an isometric from there. Staying with isometric views, the note with the leader tool can now be used to add notes and callouts to any geometry in an isometric view, making comments and assembly instructions much clearer, especially on large and complex drawings. Balloon callouts are also new in this update. You can attach balloons to edge geometry, or you can place the end of the leader on a face. The end of the leader changes from an arrow to a dot, depending on where you place it. The balloon numbers also increment automatically, but you can of course override the text if you wish. The next two enhancements relate to default settings that you can store in your drawing templates, so every drawing you create will be the same. The first is your dimension properties. In this drawing template, the default number of decimal places on our dimension is two. If you want to change that setting for the entire drawing, you can now do that with the properties dialog. In this new dialog, you can control the text size, the number of decimal places, plus many more properties, such as how the decimal separator should appear, and if you wish to show leading and trailing zeros. As you make changes, you can see all of the dimensions on the drawing update at the same time. Any dimensions that have been altered manually are not affected by the settings in this dialog, so it's easy to override the defaults when you need to. Title blocks can now be automatically filled out using the drawing properties. As you make changes to any of these properties, such as the drawing name, the fields in the title block update immediately. If you then go to the Documents menu and select Properties, you can enter values for Description, Part Number and Revision all in one place. Currently the properties you can add to the title block are restricted to the one shown here, but we'll be adding more in a future update. You can move these fields around or change their appearance and store them in your default template. 